Let's go out to Mount Lebanon. We got uh, Bill on the line who also wants to talk some hockey. What's up, Bill? Hey, hey, Bob, how you doing? Good, Bill. Hey, Bob, how you doing? What's up, Bill? Go ahead. Hey, um, if the Penguins play the Rangers in the playoffs, they're going to lose four straight because Another the Rangers have a better goaltender and they got speed. Penguins don't have no speed at all. Now they have speed, just not as much. And what they need is a power play to start clicking number one. And that goaltender you're talking about, while he's been outstanding, there's no guarantee that will continue. And, of course, you can say the same about Casey DeSmith. Who knows? But, Chris, I'm not going to say four straight. I do think they'll be underdogs, and I do think the Rangers should be expected to win that series. But as we've seen in the NHL playoffs, a lot of weird things can happen. Well, they still have a chance to fall back into that final wild card spot and draw Florida, in which case I'll point out that Florida is on pace to score more goals than any team since, like, the 95-96 Penguins, which is out of this world. Mm -hmm. And they're really in big trouble if that happens. They need to get a lead on the Rangers. They need to win game one. They need to plant a seed of doubt in that team and in Shesterkin if that's the way, if that's their first round draw. Otherwise, if New York gets rolling early and he gains more confidence that he can do no wrong against them, I think actually for the reasons what Bill and Mal Lebanon just said, I think they're in huge trouble. They can't play fast. The Rangers are much faster. The Rangers believe in what they're doing and they've had success against the Penguins. That is not a good recipe. No, it's not, but it won't be a good recipe against any team they play, really. Uh, Florida, and if they should survive one of those first two uh, teams, whatever it may be, then you move on to something even more difficult. Uh, there are a lot of good teams in the Eastern Conference, and we'll see how it goes, but the Penguins will be underdogs. I just hope they get it together and make it a very interesting series and uh, not what we've seen in the past two years, early eliminations to Montreal and the Islanders. Balls, you're out of time. We'll see you again next week. I know you guys will have a cover tomorrow on the draft on 93.7 The Fan. Back here tomorrow at 1035.